There's one. Push on. Yeah, it's like right, cast right towards that crab pot. That's the target species, people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here it is, people. Today, you guys, we are fishing. Would you say the name of your boat is? The F bomb. The F -bomb. <laughs> you guys, today. We're doing a little micro skiff fishing, and I am running late to meeting my buddy, Jeremy, right here. Going, guys? On. Dude, look at this boat. This is so sick. The micro fishing skiff. Machine. Yes. All right, people, that's what we're doing today is out here on the micro skiff, the F-bomb. I don't know, I guess that you drop the F-bomb because you lose, uh, when you when you lose all the big trout. Yeah, that's reds. basically what it is. <laughs> It's the F-bomb when I lose the fish, it's the fish bomb when I catch the fish. <laughs> it's like riding the New York subway. Right. <laughs> or the T in Boston. In Boston, yeah, the T, the green line. <laughs> this is awesome. There's like an oyster bed that kind of runs out. Yeah, let's try this. That looks... But it did feel good to feel the tug. The tug is the drug. Dude, tell me there's not fish right here. Nope. Birdies flying. Anytime you see that oyster sign, yeah. dead giveaway. I love it. They're like danger oyster sign. Or danger oyster reef. Danger. Speckled trout and redfish. Alright y'all, here it is. First spot that we pulled up to. By the way, this is Jeremy and I. It's our first time fishing this area. And so we're just kind of doing a little exploring, but why not start right here at a creek mouth that has a oyster sign, oyster bar right here. Creek mouth, looks like a little deeper channel. Got to be some fishies up here. Goal of the day, best Jeremy's PB trout. <laughs> oh, you did? One. Got your plaque? Got You're gonna put it on the fridge, bro? Yep, on <laughs> Ooh, picking up some grass. That's a good sign. Right here. Real confident we'll find them. Yeah, me too. Got these white PVC posts marking oyster beds. Very nice. On? There you go. Little puppy drum. I'm on. I'm on. Uh -huh. We did. You gotta put that as a spot lock. <laughs> oh, there you go. Is he on? Yeah, he is. There Come we go. On. We found them. Yeah, they're on this oyster bed. A little puppy drum, but guarantee you there's big trout around them. Dude. Little guy. Are You're recording. recording. <laughs> Got some fish on. On the, um, the F-bomb. The F-bomb is producing. <laughs> it's officially a fish bomb. That's right. Little gas, but it's action. action. It is action, people. So what do you do? Just hit the button again, or yeah, you can keep filming or whatever. Dude, or... I'm gonna catch some fish. I do it. There we go, people. Look, That's a little rat. Check it. Oh, there's one. Fish on. Fish on. Right out here, dude. Literally right at the boat, almost. Feels like a little red. Dang, that tail is blue as a mug. A little sunrise puppy drum. There's one. That's a good one. Good fish. Good fish. Oh. All right, y'all. Just whacked it and started running. Whoa. Dang it. I thought it was like, it'll psych you out, man. Yeah. I, Cause I caught it deep over that grass. I was like, that's a big trout. Micro skiff fishing. The F-bomb today. The F-bomb for the win. Little puppy drum on the MR-18. This is a cool color, by the way. This MR-18, I think this is like a custom color. Got the little trout spots on it and everything. There's one. Fish on. Yeah, it's like right, cast right towards that crab pot. Ooh, that's that it. One? Yeah. Come here. 
Very nice people on the micro skiff. Spanish cricket macro. No, it's not. What is that? That's a shad. Good lord. That's the poor man's tarpon. Can there we it use is. it for anything? No. It's a hickory shad. It hit hard. Maybe that's what we were marking. <laughs> They're fun though. He fought pretty hard for, for a shad. Yeah, you're like mackerel. I was like, no way. There's one. There's one. I got a fish. Is that the same species of shad that's in freshwater? Yes. Okay. All right, y'all. Fish on, fish on. What do I have? Is this another shad? Is it a trout? It's kind of running like a trout, bro. Is it a trout? I think it is. Or is it a red? Show yourself. Speckle trout. Speckler. Good one. Oh. Let's net it. Net. <laughs> I just want to cook this guy. Get in that net. Thank you. That's the target species, people. Yes, sir. Let me get some of that speckled trout juice on my, uh, here, you want to, you want to rub some juice on here? <laughs> it's a beaut on the micro skiff. There's a three species day. What my intention. There's, oh my gosh. I just got whacked, son. There he, oh, dude, am I on? I'm on, come on. There we go. Fish on, that's a trout. That feels like a trout. Big trout? Ah, it feels nice. Now we up in this, oh, okay. That, now it feels bigger. Now it feels, okay. Ooh, nice trout. Nice trout. All right, might need some net. Just uh, slow. He's not like giant, but he's a nice Dude, one. That's a nice Barely trout. hooked. Your other one. Barely hooked. Here he comes. Speckled trout fishing at its finest, baby. He's trying to get you off, man. I know. Sick. Sick, nasty. I'll deal with that, dude. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, y'all. Very nice speckled trout. Oh yeah, in the lava. I always say, I like to, I feel like if you're not picking up grass, like- you're not down there enough? Yeah, you're not, you know, you definitely want to be kind of picking up grass every so often. This thing is just staying a foot from the top. Yep, but you guys, oh look, he's got a trout scale on it from the last fish. <laughs> I'm leaving that on there. Maybe his trout friends will see it. There he is. There's one. Oh my gosh. Son of a gun. There he is. That's a fish. Yeah. Big one? Ah, uh, he's okay. Very nice. You guys, we are into a awesome trout bite. Yeah, it's a good shot. Yep. Very nice. Very nice trout. Do you want any, Jeremy? Y'all, these fishies are hungry. Whoa. Oh, that was easy. Like every trout bite I've had has been like solid. But yes, yeah, so y'all, so we've been we've been going from deep to shallow, deep to shallow. Uh, we started on the what was it? The outgoing tide, the last of the outgoing tide, and we just kind of took a break at slack. Um, and then as soon as this tide started moving in, the wind picked up, and that made it a little bit more challenging. Dude, there's definitely this is off, a giant in here. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. A little bit. All right, y'all. <laughs> On a quality, quality trout. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this bite is so fun. Oh, dude. Is it a good one? Yes. Dude, these are some quality trout. Oh my gosh. 
Dang, these guys are so like wild. Yeah, dude, this is a <laughs> Look at these. He's like 21. Sick. Thanks, bro. That is a fat speckled trout, you guys. Nice fish. Dang. I love these trout when it's like the water temp is in the 60s. Yeah. Like they get so wily, dude. They are so like, they're so aggressive. There's one. Oh. Dude, they're like whacking it, like even like out here. Yeah. Oh my word. On. <laughs> On the, uh, when I was like, right next to the boat. yeah. Very nice. It is. Come in here, dude. You're getting boat flipped. I'm pretty sure that's my limit right there. Whoa, dude. That's like unhooking these trout when the water temp is in the 60s. It is danger. Steve Irwin, danger. All right, that's my limit right there. All right, so here we are. We're back in the kitchen, obviously. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cook up this speckled trout, y'all. Today, what we're gonna do is, you know what I'm feeling is we're gonna do, I was really feeling some fish tacos, but we're gonna do like a pan fried speckled trout recipe. Of course, as always, very easy, and it's gonna taste amazing. So, little three-step process here. We're gonna fillet, season, and cook. Super easy, and it's all gonna be done right here so go ahead and put the old put the camera on the tripod and also dang you guys this year speckled trout fishing and red fishing seems like it's just gonna go off i mean it already is but it just seems like it's just gonna be absolutely insane so let's just please remember everybody please only harvest the fish and the meat that you know that you're going to eat uh, wow, that rhymed unintentionally. It sounded really cheesy, but yeah, so just be really like cognizant of the fish that you're harvesting. Um, and always, yeah, if you guys catch that like trophy gator trout, please, please release that fish. Yeah. So these are the perfect size eating. This is like a 18 inch speckled trout, just really good, fun fighting fish, but the perfect size for eating. So this trophy trout, let's let those things go let's let them grow all right all right so i'm gonna go ahead and flip my burner onto medium just to get that started um and then i'm gonna be taking some extra virgin olive oil y'all can just use normal um olive oil i'm just going with the nicer stuff today and i'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this in the pan yeah so this is like a little flash fry um yeah just like a healthy amount of oil in the pan just so we can get that fish cooking on both sides uh, yeah, we'll flash fry. So we're gonna be using medium heat just to get this burner uh, nice and hot and just get it going. Just start right here at the top. And then this is the stomach meat, so we don't wanna cut too deep into that. Just using the tip, just use the tip of your blade. Come right down to that notch right there in the stomach. All right, so go ahead and flip your trout around using the old Dexter knife. And we're just gonna Use the tip of our blade again and just get this fillet started right on the spine and just working it right down the spine. Y'all know the deal. Speckled trout are super easy to fillet and they taste amazing. Do you guys have your favorite speckled trout recipe or if you have a speckled trout recipe that you want to see me do, Please, please leave that in the comments section. Um, we do catch speckled trout quite often. If you're familiar with this channel, you know that we love us some speckled trout. We love some redfish. So if you're new to this channel, we have tons of tutorials on how to catch these guys. 
Um, but if you've been watching, you know that we eat some speckled trout. So if you guys have a recipe um, that you want us to feature, then please leave that in the comment section. Also, if y'all have some stuff that you want us to feature, like a tutorial on these speckled trout or redfish or any fish for that matter, but definitely the speckled trout, then definitely, definitely let us know because that's really what motivates us doing this YouTube channel is just helping people get stoked on fishing and catch more fish. So as you guys can see, this these trout, they fillet super, super easy. And that's it. It really helps, especially when you rinse your fish. They're not as slimy. Um, yeah, so that's another reason why you wanna rinse your fish off, but removing the skin is super, super easy. Just wanna make sure you get a good grip on your skin. Y'all, look at that right there. Come on, come on. That looks amazing. All right, so we've got our speckled trout filet in this little food storage thing. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take some breadcrumbs and we're just gonna put some breadcrumbs in here. Eh, about that much right there. Just like that. Take your breadcrumbs, put it in there, and then we're going to add in our seasoning. So we've got, first one is gonna be some pepper. I like using the steak pepper because it's a little bit more thick and bold. Get a little bit more of that kind of bold taste to it. Uh, and then we're gonna be using some garlic salt. Take some garlic salt, put this in there. Then we're gonna use some basil leaves. Put those in there. Oh yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add some olive oil in here and that's just gonna help all this stuff stick to the filet. So just add a little bit of olive oil. Put that in there. What was I thinking? I'm messing up. Moving too fast. All right. A little bit of olive oil. Oh yeah, much better. Boom. Bomb sauce. Look at this right here. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we've got our pan over here. It's already sizzling. Adjust the camera a little bit. And we're just gonna go ahead and drop this in. Bam. That is gonna be so good. There we go. That's that money shot. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, we got nice little cooked, kind of a little bit of that brown texture on it. Nice and white flaky meat in the inside. We're gonna let this thing cook just a little bit longer. Almost good. All right, I think that's about good right there. Oh, yes. Here we go. Get all the other parts of this filet. Nice little fish nugget there. All right, y'all, here we go. This is our speckled trout. A little pan fried speckled trout action, y'all. Dang, this looks so good. Look how just like, let me just point this out here. Have our nice kind of like crusted, like little breaded, little bit of breading, little bit of crust on the outside. Nice and just juicy, juicy white, white meat on the inside. Y'all, I'm not even gonna use a fork on this one. Actually, I need to use a fork, it's super hot. All right, look at this, y'all. Little fish nuggets, y'all can even do like fish nuggets, yeah. Like cut them, whoa! <laughs> y'all can even do like fish nuggets. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, cut your filet up, little fish nuggets, just like that. And you guys, there it is. Literally, just melts in your mouth. And there it is, y'all. You could put that on a sandwich even. So many different uh, variations to this recipe. So you can do like fish nuggets, put it on a sandwich, or just eat it like this. So anyways, y'all, that right there was an amazing day of fishing. So shout out to my buddy Jeremy for taking me out on his little micro skiff. Hopefully y'all enjoyed uh, that video today, little micro skiff fishing action. And uh, you guys 
Try a mirror lure. If you guys haven't fished hard baits for speckled trout, you definitely, definitely gotta try it. And if y'all are really going for that like trophy speckled trout, then you really have to have a hard plastic in your arsenal. That's just my opinion. So anyways, y'all, that's all I got for today. Thank y'all for joining for this catch and cook and I'll catch y'all in the next vid. Peace.